Father, we thank you for our world leaders sitting in positions of power during this season. Father, we thank you for every layer of authority making decisions that will affect the lives of your chosen. Father, we superimpose the will of the Lord over every decision being made in the process of being made and soon to be made in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the will of God be done. We plead empathy, a love for the people and compassion in the mighty name of Jesus in the minds of our leaders. May their hearts be cleansed and purified in this hour that they may serve the interests of your people and not the interests of money, power, or greed. We declare that the God of money loses grip over our leaders right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that the God of power loses his grip over our senators and presidents and ministers right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that this season shall not be used for politicking. It shall not be used to gain leverage in politics and party politics in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare an overturn of every confusion right now that might be arising in places of power. Father, we are declaring that the hearts of our leaders are cleansed and purified in this hour. We declare that the God of money loses his grip in the mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen our leaders' resolve in Jesus' mighty name. Gird up their resolve in the name of Jesus that glory may be returned back to you. Father, we speak forth wisdom to every leader, every senator, every prime minister. We declare leadership and wisdom to parliamentarians, ministers, presidents, kings, and queens. We place them under the sovereign governance of your mighty hand. They are led by you. For according to Proverbs 21 verse 1, the heart of the king is in your hands. You direct it like a water course where you please. We declare that the hearts of our leaders are in your hands, O God. We cry out for mercy over their hearts in the name of Jesus. Cleanse and purify their hearts that they may be able to make the right decisions right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let wisdom govern over every decision in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of understanding reign in every meeting in the name of Jesus. Let a wind of compassion blow over every strategic meeting meeting set today and tomorrow in the next few weeks in the name of Jesus confuse the strategic agenda and the plans of the enemy let every God inspired idea thrive in every meeting in the name of Jesus we send forth the spirit of unity to every meeting in the name of Jesus let partisan politics be scattered in the name of Jesus this is the right time for our leaders to unite for the sake of our countries and the sake of our people. We declare that there is unity. We declare that there is cooperation. We declare that there is love in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that they are being bound together with cords that cannot be broken. We declare that heaven is represented in every sitting. We declare that through God-fearing leaders who you are raising up for such a time as this, the will of the Lord will be advanced over this season. We speak forth the oil of boldness over their heads in these rooms in the name of Jesus. We speak forth kingdom agents in every meeting in the name of Jesus. We declare that heaven is represented in every sitting through God fearing leaders who you are raising and lifting up and strategically positioning for such a time as this. We speak forth the oil of boldness over their heads in the name of Jesus. We declare that they are divinely preserved and protected. We declare that there is no conniving of leaders against people that are on the forefront of preserving the lives of people in the name of Jesus. We declare that the lives of the people of any country shall not be less important than the economic preservation in the name of Jesus during this season. We declare that the value of human life right now is rising up in the name of Jesus. We declare that the will of the Lord is prevailing over every country as resources necessary to combat corona are being distributed. We declare that resources will be shared equally in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that both the rich and the poor shall be serviced in the mighty name 
name of Jesus. We superimpose men of integrity into positions of power who will assure that fair distribution of medicine, of medical attention, of food, of shelter, and support is done in the name of Jesus. We declare that men filled with the spirit of the Lord and the spirit of good counsel are being raised up right now into positions of power. We speak forth an increase of the oil of grace over every minister of health in every country in the name of Jesus. Cover them, O oh God, with the blood of Jesus. We plead divine protection over their lives in the name of Jesus. Strength upon strength over them, grace upon grace over them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up their resolve like the horn of a unicorn in the name of Jesus. Let the fear of the Lord come up upon their head in the name of Jesus. We speak forth understanding of seasons and times over their head in the name of Jesus. We declare that the spirit of the Lord will rest over them, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might and the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the boldness to stand for what is right, the boldness to stand for the right decisions to be made is being given to the ministers of health of every single country. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare courage is coming over them in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that resolve is coming over them in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that there is going to be cooperation in the creation of new bills that will support the people of the Lord in the season in the name of Jesus. We plead divine protection over our leaders. We plead favor over the lips of the people that have the agenda of the Lord in their lips that when they speak, cabinet stop to listen. We plead favor in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that our governments are safe in the mighty name of Jesus.